Good morning, 452. Time for a look at the markets. And this morning, Scott Shelody joining us from Chicago. Good morning, Scott. Uh, good morning. Well, we had a great time in the markets Friday and Monday, and we knew it couldn't last. Looks like we got a turnaround Tuesday coming our way today. Yeah, we're a little easier by a couple pennies across the board. Nothing really too significant, but you know, it's going to be hard to blame it all on the grain. It sounds like a song, blame it on the rain, blame it on the grain, but <laughs> it's really due to the fact that with uh, Janet Yellen's testimony uh, and the Fed on uh, the middle of last week, that dollar selling off as much as it did really gave a boost to a lot of dollar-denominated products across the board, both Friday and Monday. So that was really going to be the big impetus of that trade. So today, it, is the dollar turning around now? Is uh, Greenback uh, coming back stronger? <laughs> well, I mean, it's just not having the precipitous fall that it had been taking the last couple of days. And, you know, for all the rate hike rhetoric talk that we've had, it's going to still stay high. So it's going to be uh, kind of a black cloud on, on, on the horizon for us anyway. But it did come off uh, a decent amount for the last two days, which has given us a little bit of a boost. We're still not going to go too far from home waiting for the acreage report. So there will be a lot of white noise up until that point. Um, the dollar some of it, but that did give us the boost. And you know what? We're still not kind of back to where we were before it all started still. So I think that there's some, a few disappointed folks still out there. All right. The fundamentals this week, we're getting rain in the central southern plains. And uh, crop condition reports yesterday showed improvement in Texas and Oklahoma. Yeah, that wasn't enough to trump the dollar card, uh, but it was something there that we did speak about yesterday and knew that uh, once this dollar thing kind of got out of the way, you'd, it's kind of hard to not look in the mirror anymore. So we'll get back to the fundamentals. But again, uh, a lot of folks are still worried about uh, this, this report over the last 28 years of my trading has been a real big one, and we've moved a lot on it. So that's the reason why you're going to see not too many people putting the bets on the table big time this week. All right. Well, you get the last chance to talk about it a week from this morning. So, <laughs> uh, That's right. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, a lot, what's pushing the livestock markets this week? Well, you know, they suffer a little bit from the dollar, but they also suffer a little bit from their own, their own ills. And, that's, uh, and I just got off the phone with somebody else this morning looking at the beef, uh, beef charts, and we had a little bit about in the hogs. But... I don't think there's anything out there uh, in the short term that's going to change the direction of either one of those. All right, very Hogs good. Hogs are still oversupplied, and, and cattle, I still think, are going to, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to get in front of that, that, that chart going higher. All right. Scott Jellity, TJM Investment Chicago, thank you so much for uh, waking up with us on Tuesdays. Have a great day. Have a good morning. Yeah, you too. All right. Coming up next, another check of the forecast and a preview of what's coming up next on The Valley Today.